this is the one that the crowd is going to go wild for because the rivalry between these two schools is immense. The Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup, Eton College on the left of your screen, Radley College on the right. The noise down the enclosures is going to be amazing going down this race. Both crews gone off very, very straightforward, nice rhythm. Radley College this year at National Schools Regatta were medalists. Eton came fifth, but they've had a good season since then. And I don't think, don't, don't think there's going to be much between these two crews as they go down the course. Well, they're pretty much locked here, stroke for stroke. Very early stages at this point. How do you see this starting to unfold, Adrian? Oh, I, I wouldn't want to call this at all. Radley got a really good start off the island, but it seems that Eton has transitioned probably to a slightly stronger, more powerful rhythm. They've sort of rode their way through them a bit through that transition phase, but I'm not. Good, I don't. I don't think this is. This is a long way from being over. This is not going to. This is going to go down to the wire. Yeah, the Radley crew here, coached by John Gearing and Sam Townsend, done a really good job here, creating a crew that rose really efficiently. Wow, coming through the three-quarter mile, it's Eton College with almost a length lead over Radley College, perhaps. This is not expected. Fifth in the championship at the National Schools Regatta for Eton, but third for Radley College. Yeah, I mean, definitely you wouldn't have expected this kind of margin, but earlier today, the Newcastle crew were three quarters of a length down against Brown University, and then coming into the enclosures, rode through them to win by three quarters of a length. So if Radley can keep their mind together and still believe in what they're doing, they might still have a chance here. And it looks like as we speak, it could just be the camera angle, but it does look like Radley is starting to make a bit of a move here against Eaton. We'll get a better picture of that further down, but it does look like those crews are now drawing level once again. And Eaton really committed to a very hard rhythm of the finish there. You can see the stroke around the, the force he's using his body with really has set up a fantastic rhythm for this crew. It's just a matter of seeing how long they can sustain this and whether Radley have anything left to come back on terms. Wow, what a move by Radley. They've brought themselves up now to probably half a length behind Eton College. Do Eton have another gear or have they spent all of their bickies early? Well, they've done a great, this is a great race. If Radley have anything, this is going to be a fantastic finish. But the Eton boys, despite having put a massive effort in and really keeping that rhythm, they're not faltering. Being really courageous here down this race. Still five, 600 meters to go. It's not over yet. But this is incredibly impressive schoolboy rowing for me to have that pressure eaten they went out hard they went out hard early but to have that composure to stay together as Radley's starting to challenge them and really Radley's not moving any further on them at this point no they got back on terms to half a length Eaton have just pushed again and moving out to maybe two-thirds of a length that's very brave these are young athletes and that's a really brave thing to let Radley come close and then put another massive effort in to try and get clear water they want to win this. Eaton need to try and break clear now. Wow, it looks to me like Eaton are extending their lead. It's, oh, it's very close to call. It's been pretty much locked like this for the last few hundred metres, but perhaps Eaton has pushed Bradley back about a seat or two. And why wouldn't they? Listen to the crowd. Oh, that's so good coming down here. Those Eaton boys are going to gain a lot of energy from this. That's a fantastic performance turning around that result. That Eaton crew really powering on. Bradley crew really trying to keep on terms and trying to get back. It looks like Eaton might have done this. Wow, I thought that Radley were going to come through with that move, but Eaton stayed composed. They answered the call and they will hold them off. Eaton College will take the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup, progressing to the Saturday, defeating Radley. What a great result there from those, those races. Well done, Eton College, for that row.